Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So you guys have been really enjoying the Power League videos. Appreciate that. So going to do one of those today, but we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to be going over some games where I played tanks and I know you guys have been enjoying the draft as well. So we're going to, I played it on stream. We're just going to be go, going over my stream. I'll explain it to you guys and kind of give you my insight how to play tanks. I definitely don't think I'm like the best tank player in the world. There's definitely a lot better tank players than me, but I do think I understand it like definitely better than the average player and uh, probably better than a lot of you guys so I figured I can help you guys out if it's something that you're interested in playing. Tanks are super strong right now and uh, yeah they're definitely one of the easiest ways to win games if you know when to pick them and how to play them when you do pick them. So let's get into the gameplay. Alright guys so uh, just a general tip I think tanks you can play them in a lot of modes but Brawl Ball is probably their strongest mode. Um, this way like they're really good for applying pressure and uh, scoring goals as well. Really good for the run it down style. So field goal is a really good map for them as well. You always got to be careful about going something that like you can just get ran down on or like uh, counter really hard. So we do have first pick. Um, we're going to ban Cordelius, Barley, Carl. They ban like Shelly, Crow, Barley. So pretty standard there. Uh, usually you don't ban Cordelius with first pick, but we do get Squeak off it. So it's pretty good. Um, and... Yeah, I think they make a pretty big mistake here. <laughs> so Sam is a really strong brawler, but it definitely has its counters. And uh, the main counter, you guys will see in a second, in my opinion. So they go Bonnie, which I also, I don't think it's bad. I just, uh, it can get ran down. I guess he didn't know what this guy was going to pick. And uh, the combination of the two together just didn't really work out very well for them. Um, but yeah, I think Bonnie is good on this map. It's just like, uh, you do got to be careful about getting ran down. Usually if you have last pick, you don't have to worry about it as much unless you take two really squishy, like two, three. But uh, they do go Sam really early in the draft. And yeah, Primo's open though. So I'm telling Aquino, all right, like just go like an anti-tank, something mid, like B's fine. Um, and then I'll go Primo. So I'm pretty bad at Primo. It's definitely, I think Primo's my worst brother in the game, honestly by like a decent amount um but yeah this is like two super easy matchups for primo right now and uh one sec. Momo wants to come say hi to you guys um so yeah primo into sam is very free it's uh kind of hard to mess up you're gonna want to go like the speed gear and the fire star power against like other tanks <laughs> and uh yeah they go otis last pick but like I don't think Otis is enough right now. Like the mute's really annoying, but you can definitely kill Otis uh, with Primo. You jump on him if he doesn't have his mute. He's just like instantly dead. Uh, I don't think it's like the best brawler in the world right now. Also, the supercharge gear on Primo is super broken. Uh, no pun intended. So <laughs> make sure uh, you guys do have it on if you are planning on playing Primo. Definitely recommend it over damage gear. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna stand mid at the start and get the matchups right. <sighs> squeak just like one shots the otis uh he definitely could have played it better but pretty much i'm just gonna follow the sam around and uh yeah like you gotta be like willing to take damage on tank so i'm just kind of running in a straight line i think we can maybe score here if he just runs forward and supers it it would be close but you know he didn't want to throw a possession that's fine as well too so pretty much as soon as i get my super here i'm looking to just like jump in on both of them and like yeah i luckily kill the otis get the ball back and I'll get my super back. So it's really good, the super gear on Primo. If you get a few punches in, you get your super pretty much. Here, I do mess up the interaction Primo between Sam. So I tried throwing him. Uh, if I do throw him away from his glove, I definitely win it. I also was greedy with my super there. I could just jump again and I kill him. Uh, I just thought I would win the trade. I'm not like the best Primo player, like I was saying. So yeah, definitely room for improvement, of course. Um, and uh yeah we are in a good spot though so i'm gonna be careful i don't break our walls with the primo jump and not gonna be greedy that time just you know gonna jump secure the kill and i do want to take damage here so they already have super so i don't want to get taken down too low but i do want to kind of like bait out some stuff he wastes his mute on me like that's completely fine i can just run up this side and i will throw him over and jump on him and i think we just win the game here so yeah you can kind of see like primo is in my opinion <clears throat> probably the best tank counter in the game and it is a tank itself because it can just like apply like a ton of pressure and it kind of beats every single tank in 1v1 i think um 
So yeah, you gotta be careful uh, picking tanks early if Primo is open, especially in something like Brawl Ball, where uh, Primo is just like one of the best rollers like for getting the objective. Like Primo jump, like throw the ball in the net. It's like really hard to defend against. Um, and yeah, I think Primo is one of the few tanks that you can pick earlier, and Ash as well in Brawl Ball. I think you can pick kind of early as well. So you can see we're just kind of running through them at this point. Um, it's definitely, we have comp by a good amount, the squeak first, and then we got the primo countering, like, the Bonnie and the Sam, and you can just see how easy it is, so I would just need to stay alive, I realize I can one-shot him there, and, uh, yeah, he's gonna mess the pass up a little bit, that's fine, we don't need to rush anything at all, um, you just gotta take our time, get, like, another super, and they kinda know it's over at this point, so I think the Otis pick was pretty bad, I think you definitely need to go, like, if... It's hard to say because Squeak's there, but I guess Squeak counter is Otis like pretty hard too. So I probably, I think a better tank counter right now is like Tara or like Macy even, something like that. Alright guys, so game number two is going to be on Bell's Rock. So uh, they do have first pick, so you always want to be in for a uh, tick in Power League if they have first pick. And pretty much any knockout map is just very good ban. Uh, we ban Mr. P, Shelly, you know Shelly is just... If you don't want to ban, you don't want to play against it, you're not going to pick it, just ban Shelly. Uh, I think it's very good to ban in like almost every map. So uh, yeah, it can make drafting really easy or really difficult if a Shelly is in play. So yeah, uh, I do have last pick, so the highest um, elo in the lobby has the last pick. Sometimes it's really nice because you can get a good counter pick or like sometimes like the randoms will like take the carry brawler, so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Um, but they're gonna take gray first, which I don't mind. I think it's like Yeah, I guess Grom's banned. So I think Grom with the turrets like not bad into gray here um, But it's definitely good into sprout and stuff as well You can also like pick Brock and open it up, but yeah gray. It's not a lot of damage It is an aggro brawler, but it's not a lot of damage. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take the Brock um, and I think Ducky takes the Piper as well and uh yeah like not really the best two three but it's power league so that's how it's gonna go sometimes um can't expect every draft to be perfect but uh yeah i think he takes the piper here and then i think they go sprout here which i think is a little weird considering that they already have the gray so it's gonna be gray lane into brock or Piper, which is definitely not ideal in my opinion. So yeah, both teams kind of messing up the drafts here in my opinion. Uh, and then they go Gus. So in my head, I'm like, all right, I've never done this before, but like, they don't have a lot of damage. Like I just played Primo the game before. I think I can make Sam work here. Uh, now Sam, the reason why I chose Sam is if we wait till the end of the game and I'm like a pretty like healthy HP, I don't think they really have a way to kill me. The Sprout can wall me off, which like can be a little awkward, but you know, odds are I'm gonna get some position. I also have a really good gadget for securing kills, stuff like that, and I have a lot of sustain as well. I've never done this before, uh, in Knockout at least. I've been playing more Sam lately, so I'm kind of getting the Brawler, but pretty much I'm gonna wait and see if someone will overextend. The only one that I can't really get is the Gray if he has TP. Sprout can wall me off too, make it a little awkward, but... They really need to like keep their space and with Sam like if you're not standing there you need to just be like throwing your fist like off the wall like this and it's just for the movement speed so yeah I'm gonna like just like see if I can get him and you see right off the bat I am gonna get two of them and they're all gonna be one shot here and my team does a good job just pinching so you can just see like he's not gonna do the same thing again but you can that's why I chose Sam right it's just like instant pressure compared to other tanks like Daryl or something you have to wait uh, you're gonna get like hit for free for the first 30 seconds um but yeah i think sam definitely can be good uh i'm still like figuring it out but you guys can kind of understand like you're just like always like doing something like you can't push up too hard you're gonna like have to guard your lanes a little bit especially if the gray gets tp he can kill my brock really easy i make the mistake of going too far back here uh and i do get trapped in there and i think my teammates get punished for it so yeah, you can see the gray gets a hook on the Brock, but they trade. I don't think I realized they traded here. Uh, and I go like a little too aggro. Um, I do manage to cuss, get the Gus, but uh, I guess that was close. Like, I think that play is fine for me. It's just like a little unlucky because I do kill him. Like, if I get like one more auto off, 
So it was a little unlucky, I guess. Like, I don't really mind dying like that. And it's a 1v1 now. Uh, our Piper, I think he should just curve in there, keep him low. Um, but yeah, he's like just holding on to his stuff, which I guess is fine. Like, we definitely could have played it better. Like, if I didn't get walled off, I think I can definitely follow up on the Brock and see what happened. But I'm sure I could make a play happen there. And uh, yeah, so you always need a wall to play off with Sam. Uh, obviously <laughs> so you can see I'm just gonna play over to the right side he does have TP as well and I do manage to catch the Gus out and you can just see like I just like run them down like Sprout doesn't have a wall uh, he is gonna trap my fist there and I just think it is like a very very free Sam game so I'm pretty sure like as long as the matchups are good you can play like tanks anywhere almost um, yeah pretty much you need to always have damage guys in your comp don't go like what they went here <laughs> but yeah it's all about like applying pressure and just like waiting for that perfect time to kind of go in and uh luckily like you know i have two good teammates here as well they're like doing good on their lanes making it easy for me just like all i got to do is time it pretty much nobody's dying early if you die early and knock out it makes it super hard maybe i'm jinxing it right now easy getting kind of low there but I know Yeezy just hit him there, so I'm looking to go more aggro here. Even if he, like, does hook me through the wall, I think it's okay. Uh, I am going to body block for Yeezy. And you can just see, like, so with Sam, the lower HP you are, the more you heal. So even if it's kind of scary, you know, you do got to play off those, like, speed boosts off the wall and the HP. And sometimes you got to back off. Like, I think there I did a really good, like, back off. Um, and, yeah, I am just going to miss the gray, unfortunately. But they can't really kill me here, like that's what I'm talking about. Sprout's gonna try trapping me in, I saw that one coming so I just kinda left. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a kill and I'll hit the Sprout as well so he's low. So the Sprout's kinda out of the game right now, he did have the gadget earlier so he didn't have a gadget ready there. And uh, yeah, it's a 1v2 so my teammates should be fine here. It is a little awkward with the Piper and the Brock but they do a good job. So you can just kinda see like waiting for the right opportunity, you don't always have to go in on tanks sometimes you can back off and just wait for a better opportunity especially in a mode like knockout where you know you only get one life and uh if someone dies early it usually ruins the round but here i just catch them both out and uh yeah you can just run through them i think they were kind of tilted already like they realized like we just out comp them a lot and uh yeah this is what i was talking about like you can get some really free games with tanks guys all right so next up we have another tank game on gold arm gulch now usually i go daryl here uh, I think Daryl is probably the best uh, tank in Knockout by like a good margin, but uh, I think with their comp here, I'll just show you guys how the draft plays out first before I get too into it. But yeah, we're gonna do like pretty standard bands, I think again, um, Shelly, uh, Tick as well, and I do have last pick again, which is always nice, uh, makes it pretty easy, as long as my teammates draft pretty decent as well. So I'm gonna ban Bonnie, Bonnie's just well rounded like, mind you, I didn't know I was gonna go a tank this game, I just kinda saw like the opportunity. Again, they first pick Grey, so I think it kinda makes it hard to draft sometimes if uh, you take something that's not good into tanks. Um, now, I don't really mind the first pick gray here because there are like Grom and Sprout open. So it's kind of like you're countering that as well. And it is like an aggro brawler. Like you can definitely make plays with gray. But we're going to go Leon, which is kind of unconventional. But it definitely is an aggro pick. So when I saw the Leon, I was like thinking like, all right, like we can try running it down again. Like probably depending what they go here. Like I'm also like, <laughs> I'm always down to go Mandy or something like that. So I would just kind of wait and see how the draft played out. Mr. P, like, I think that pick's fine. It's pretty annoying for Gray. Um, you do gotta be careful with uh, throwers against Mr. P. I think it's pretty free for the throwers for a lot of the matchup. But uh, yeah, I think our draft, like, the Leon's kinda weird, but I don't, like, think it's the worst pick ever. And they're gonna go Grom and Carl. So when I saw the Carl, <laughs> I, like, was like, all right, like, 100% I have to play a tank here. And I think Sprout, I think, Grom is better, but Sprout's definitely better into tanks and like aggro stuff because you do have the wall. So Grom is just like pretty free and <laughs> this is like a little unconventional, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted to test it out. I was like, alright, like three good matchups for me, like they don't do a ton of damage like Grom does, but like it should be fine. Uh, I've never played it on this map again, but it worked like the last game, so I was like, alright, like I'll try it out like one more time, like see what happens. I'm gonna go with speed gear because uh, 
You can definitely sneak up people on the right and the left side, and it's going to be pretty obvious that that's what I'm going to try doing at the start. And I think I go right, right away, and I would have, like, tried going for something, but my teammates didn't really come with me. So, you know, if you have three people shooting you, you're not really going to... Like, even if I do have 8,000 HP or whatever, like, they're going to be able to burst me down too fast. So, I'm just going to back off. If someone came with me, cool. If they didn't check the bush, even better. But, uh, yeah, like I said, with tanks, a lot of time in knockout, you just need to make sure you don't get super, super backed up. And then, uh, towards the end of the game, if they don't have enough damage, they can just kind of... You can just run them down, pretty much. Uh... So I am just going to try like playing like out wide. I don't really want to get like all three of us standing in the same place and they can just pinch us really easily. Do you want to like stretch the map a little bit here? And you know, I do get hit by the Grom shot. A little unfortunate there. You don't want to feed them. Grom super is going to be really big for them. It's going to knock back and Seabass is going to go down. It's a little unfortunate, but I definitely think we can still win here. Uh, like I said, like they don't really have a tank counter. Uh, I do need the Leon to stay alive though, and I'm just gonna like be waiting for my time to go in, and uh, yeah, you can see if I picked up my glove there, I actually think I win, or at least I get the Grom Super, but my teammates both died, and my glove didn't pick up for that, for some reason, sometimes like it's weird, the Sam Glove, here I'm gonna run them down, and uh, yeah, you know, like, I get a kill, and unfortunately, like, my teammates like don't really do anything like the Leon just kind of dies like without hitting anyone I did get him really low. I got a kill and I got them really low, but uh, <laughs> Yeah, the Leon not doing too good right now, and uh, <laughs> this is actually crazy from Seabass <laughs> Like shout out to Seabass. Uh, he's had some questionable plays on my team before and you know I've kind of like been a little unhappy with him once or twice, but he came to play today. Like, I know he died first the last round, but he definitely makes up for it here. Uh, he does. I don't want to spoil it, but you guys can see, like, what happens. Like, he doesn't give up. It's the end of the round, so he's got his gadgets. And if he can dodge the Grom Shop, it's, like, obviously it's a 1v2, but he's not in a horrible spot. Like, and he is going to do a nice little juke there on the gray gadget as well. And the Grom's just kind of missing a lot of shots on him right now. And he is going to miss the Grom super as well. So Seabass, like, having the game of his life right now, bro. <laughs> he came to play today. He's going to be 1 HP. And this is, like, so crazy. Like, goes in the smoke, doesn't get ticked. I was so happy, bro. <laughs> so shout out to Seabass. You played that really well. Like, we're all going to be, like, happy for Seabass. Like, you know, that was, like, kind of a crazy one. So really well played by Seabass there. And I just really want, like, to kind of play out a round where we're all alive at the end or something like that. I see the Leon going aggro, though, so I'm going to, like, try following up. And, uh, yeah, he gets a nice kill there as well. I don't need to throw my super. Uh, I'm just going to go up and auto the Carl as well. And Carl just gives up. Like, if I just play it off the wall, like, I can gadget the Carl super, and once the, he's out of Carl super, like, we just win. I, I'm also pretty sure if I just keep throwing my gloves off the wall, I don't think he can kill me in his Carl super if I'm full HP. So, yeah, there's, like, not much you can do. It's definitely on us to mess up more than, like, him being able to outplay in that scenario. Um, so, yeah, Ducky did good that round. He finally got a kill. Uh, he's been pretty useless the other two rounds, so shout out to Ducky. Um, yeah, and then Seabass just being the GOAT still. <laughs> So yeah, I just kind of want to wait a little bit this time and see if all three of us can make it to the end round. Or like, we do have like two really good supers with uh, the Mr. P and the Leon there. And both of them apply a lot of pressure. I also love the Leon gadget. It's so nice to have. It's like, it's not doing anything huge, but it's like low-key like applying like a good amount of pressure. So I think it's a really good gadget. And uh, yeah, I think Leon is actually pretty decent in knockout into some comps as well it's a pretty decent tank counter in my opinion um so yeah we're just kind of chilling and we do get mr p porters it's really nice to have obviously especially for the late game they're going to be shooting me they're going to be shooting the porters and we haven't really fed any supers too much so yeah i'm gonna get hit by carl a few times i'm just kind of looking for an angle here but ducky's gonna do a really good job and just go in there and uh i do mess up here but i get them both one shot so this should be pretty free for him he has super as well um but yeah ducky just gets like destroyed so <laughs> Leon's not for Ducky, that's okay. Um, he's in my Twitch chat, so I was just kind of like, 
Yeah, like no way, like that just happened, Ducky. Like they're both one HP. You have super and Lost and Forsaken just did him like that. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I did miss my gadget, but that's a hundred percent. Like that should be a win, like any day of the week. Um, but yeah, it happens. I guess it's power league. You know, it's gonna happen sometimes. And yeah, I'm gonna go down by the Grom. Like I said, like just want to keep applying pressure, making sure we don't get too pushed back. I feel like they could be pushing into us harder for sure, but I think they're just scared of my gadget. Um, now the only one that really needs to be scared of my gadget, I guess Gray if he doesn't have TP, but Carl, like you can gadget away at the same time. So here I see an opportunity to go in and uh, yeah, I'm just going to stay alive. I'm not trying to rush anything and I am going to get them both like pretty low and I lose my gloves, but you can just see like I found a really good opportunity to go in and we get them all low. We managed to stay alive. I trolled by throwing my gloves at the end but we already did like so much work applied like so much pressure that we are just going to take that round like off that so yeah just really especially in knockout like other modes you can definitely run it down a lot harder knockout if you are playing tanks especially like sam or daryl uh i hope you don't play other tanks honestly i've seen frank work um but yeah uh you gotta pick your time to go in and uh you definitely don't want to rush it here so here i do rush it i saw ducky going in and I thought if I pulled two of them, like, he could maybe get a kill, but he didn't. Uh, and, yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like it's really free if we wait till the end of the round, but that's okay. Like, that one, like, it's on me, I guess. I thought Ducky could finish someone off, but I did take, like, way too much damage. And, uh, you know, he almost gets a kill here, but he's going to get TP'd on. And I think the Grom will finish him off there as well. So, kind of misplayed by me, but I think it's good. You guys get to see, like, what rushing is um and how like i feel like we had really good control of this match and then you know we just kind of tied it up by like rushing stuff so yeah take your time uh it's a lot easier if the smoke is pinching them because there's not a lot of places they can go and yeah just try being healthy and wait until the end i think mostly like 90 percent of the time it's super free if you guys do that just like a little patience you know but yeah, it's fine. I think they should be more aggro at the start, like I've been saying. Leon is going to be over there. I don't think they're really expecting him, so uh, maybe he can sneak behind. But it's pretty hard to sneak behind at this point. And I see he is behind them, so I'm going to go for a gadget, I think? Or we kind of got them like in a really awkward spot. I almost throw... <laughs> so this is just like off of positioning, right? So it was a really good play from Ducky just to kind of go there for the pinch. And yeah, I mean, Gray has TP, we all have supers. I'm just going to finish him off. There's like no point in like giving him anything else. Um, but yeah, good positioning from Ducky. He's just shooting me. Um, and yeah, we're on match point now. So I think that, they, yeah, they're all on our side. So I want to see if I can go from a flank or like gadget the Grom or something like that. And I do catch the Grom out here. And yeah, you want to like line your Sam supers up where you can almost like hit two people with it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna run him down and I'm gonna go down, but the game's over at this point. Like I already knew that. Like if you're, <laughs> if you're playing tanks, you're not playing for KD. Like if you're playing for KD on tanks, you're playing them wrong. Like I would just say that. So uh, yeah, you guys can see kind of how tanks can work everywhere. Especially, like I said, Sam is really strong in like a bunch of modes right now. Just the sustain and the HP is crazy on him. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed some tank gameplay. I personally have been enjoying tanks a lot more. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I feel like I'm getting better on a few of them. I definitely need a lot of work on it, but I think it's an important thing to have in kind of your arsenal. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to see more of tanks or anything specifically in Power League, just let me know below and I'll try fitting in for a video for you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate it a lot. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Peace!